Hello friend, welcome back to The Moon, part 1 of the epic trilogy by Freebird Studios. I hope you've enjoyed this so far, just as much as I've enjoyed playing it and showing it to you. So let's get on with it today. So you guys are really going for it, huh? Yup, the construction starting in just a few months. It's a bit of a squeeze, we had to split the payment. But with financing, we'll make do. How wonderful, having your dream house built at such a beautiful site. You had your wedding at the lighthouse near there all those years ago, didn't you? That's not all that special about it. We have a long history with that place. Well, it's good to have some good news at a get-together for once. Cheers and congratulations, you two. Hey, cheers! Be right back, I'm gonna get some fresh air. Me too. Well, buddy, it's sure been a while. Hasn't it? Who knew how hard it is to get across a few cities nowadays? That river, still so quiet, huh? Eh, she's actually been talkative at home, and with Isabel. I guess she's just not used to you. Haha, <laughs> so I'm the bad guy here, huh? Oh hey, so do you tell River that thing from back then? I did. So how did she take it? For the most part, she took it well, but something bugs me. Ever since the incident, she's been making these strange rabbits out of paper. Origami rabbits? Yes, lots of them. Ha, huh, I used to fold origami animals for my daughter all the time. What's wrong with that? I don't think it's the same thing. She's been doing nothing but making the same rabbits day in, day out. Our house is literally filled with them now. Didn't Isabel say something like that is a common trait with River's condition? Yes, but something doesn't feel right this time. When I ask her about it, she never answers. Instead, she gets this distant look in her eyes, almost as if she wants something from me. And the strange thing is, I feel like there's something I owe her too. Have you asked Isabel? Yes. She said she talked to her about it, but got nothing. Well, I'm certainly not one to inquire, but I'll tell you this. I've known you since middle school, and you're notorious for overthinking. You're probably just imagining things. There's no need to get too worked up. Usually when someone says that, something's always wrong. But I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. You're probably right. Probably. I'm always right, John. Wait, so even he himself never knew what was up with those rabbits? Forget about the stupid rabbits, we've got a bigger problem. It's a confined memory and there are no mementos anywhere. Don't worry, we can probably draw one out from him. How? Leave it to me, I just gotta give the bartender a quick visit first. Hey there, could I get you anything? Hey yo, could I get a bottle of pickled olives please? Sure, cash or credit. Check. Er, uh, I'm sorry, we don't take checks. Oh, just put it on my tab then. Wait, does that mean you don't have any money? You're so getting resetted. Hey there, could I get you anything? Hello, could I get a bottle of pickled olives please? Sure, cash or credit. Just put it on my tab. I feel like spending big today. Oh, thank you, sir. Here's your pickled olive. Thanks, bro. You'll be getting an enormous amount of tips today. Thank you, sir. You're such an ass, Neil. Oh, loosen up. Why, is that a bottle of pickled olives you're sporting? 
Yeah, are you a fellow olive lover? Indeed I am. Just got a fresh bottle of them myself, in fact. Mind if I join you? Sure, why don't you grab a seat? We'll down a bottle together. Oh, yeah, that sounds just swell. Eva, disable taste simulation now. Oh, Neil, I don't think I feel like it. I'm so gonna get you back for this. So that's how we got our first toaster. Oh ho ho ho! Ah, 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 You okay there? Yes, I'm just savoring the amazingness of pickled olives. They're wonderful, aren't they? Yeah, I just can't understand how anyone could uh, find such things to be disgusting. Take your time, we've got two bottles left. So I said, hey, that's not right, and they totally agreed. And you know what else is wrong with society today? Yeah, I actually have it right here, why? May I see it? Eh, okay. Here it is. And freeze. Finally, dear lord. How are the olives, Neil? Oh, shut your mouth. Wait, don't you dare. Don't worry, sheesh. See, I'm doing it by the books. Hulk smash! Neil, seriously? I'm trying to get into this and you're ruining the mood. Totally worth it. Let's just prepare the memento. Crikey nutcrackers. You aren't Australian. Who cares? We're like 20 billion nanometers off the ground and standing on a damn flagpole. Just jump down, it's not like you can be hurt here. Are you kidding me? It's a freaking skydive. You can't stay on here, you can't get off. God, I hate it when this happens. I swear this. Eva, what the. Wuss. Why would they abandon her like this? I suppose she's just no longer needed. No longer needed? By ships, I mean. You know how it is, now that everything has GPS and all that. Look, River. This place means a lot to me too, and I've been thinking. In our current state, things have been pretty stable. If we save well, in a few years, we could afford to build a house on top of here. It's going to be a squeeze, but I'm... We'd be able to see her from the window. In the morning, at night, we'd always be nearby. And we could walk here any time. She'll never be alone again, John. I'll be able to watch over her every day. Yeah, we will. Good for them. You gotta be kidding me. You remember what happens, don't you? It's like watching a train wreck. 
the ending isn't any more important than any of the memories leading to it. The important thing is that over here, they are happy. Let's move on. Wait a minute. They were referring to the lighthouse as Anya, weren't they? I suppose so. Then, that river, she declined treatment for the sake of a lighthouse? Isn't that a bit too extreme? I've seen stranger things in the course of the job. Me too, but ugh, I can never wrap my head around it. It's none of our business anyway, she's not our client. Receive note, Anya. River? New boxes of plain paper. Uh-oh, I think I know where this is going. An old baby grand piano. How the heck did they move this thing upstairs? Who knows, but I bet it'd be a piece of cake for the TARDIS. Not really, you can't even get it through its door. Hmm, true. Well, that settles it. Moving pianos is a pain in the arse for everybody. It'd probably take an entire episode to get it inside. I wouldn't mind seeing such an episode. Me neither. It sounds pretty epic. You went out for a haircut this early, in the morning? What are you making there? Rabbits. Did you see the rabbit I left for you? Yeah. Tell me about that rabbit. Huh? Describe the rabbit. Um, it was yellow. What else? A bit puffy. And? Well, it's just a paper rabbit. I don't know how else to describe it. You're acting strange, River. Is something wrong? River? I don't know about you, but I'm getting some inverse deja vu. I think I know of a condition, but this is rather odd even for that. You think she's... Do you? Perhaps, who knows. But like you said, she's not our client. Let's just get what we're paid for over with. Many long strands of orange hair. Memento detected. So, this is the day she started it, huh?
9,000 IQ today. This is where the house used to be, isn't it? The house that never should have been. I mean really, what is it about unusually high dangerous places that attract people? Receive note, acrophobia. Is that why you approached me back then? Yeah. What about now? I suppose it's just a part of it. Look, it was a long time ago. It's not too relevant now, but Izzy said that I should tell you the truth. I shouldn't have tainted our first meeting like that. What is that? A hacky set? Can you throw this as far as where Anya's at? I don't know. You want me to try? Would you? River! Are you insane? Get away from there! I think this memory isn't too far from the last. Think they may be connected? Probably. Okay, we found a memento. Why did she cut her hair anyway? I like long hair. Everyone with it is different, John. Just because she and I share the syndrome doesn't mean we share the same head. But you must be able to help somehow. Everything was okay at first, but now she's even more aloof than before. Even when we're in the same room, she's never really there. It's starting to take a toll on me. I just don't know how to take it anymore. Well, I can't speak for her, but many of us do long for, for connections. Though, being able to articulate is a different story. Just because she struggles to express it, it doesn't mean she doesn't feel anything. She's still there, right? Sometimes you just have to have faith that she cares. That's pretty difficult to do, day in, day out. I know. Wait, but why do you seem so normal, Izzy? I mean, don't you have the same condition? For one, I was diagnosed when I was still young. With effort, it's not impossible to acquire a guise of social norms systematically. 
But you know what? I both envy and pity River. Me, I'm an actress because I've been doing it all my life. Not only on stage, but off stage, and practically at every moment. I've gotten good at it because acting is the only option I have. It's the only way for me to be normal. But River, she never did that. She remained an outcast and refused to learn and step against it. I don't know if it was by choice or by limit, whether bravery or cowardice. There are days when I just can't stand faking it anymore. And then I realize that it's too late. The Isabel that people know of is all an act, and the real me has long become a stranger. I think in the end, I just envy her. Huh, I've never met a woman with it before. Then technically, you still haven't met one. This isn't part of our business. Let's move. The world would be easy on the eyes of people who just remembered faces more. Anything new today? No. What are you re what are you rereading there? The Empress New Clothes. I loved this when I was young. Still do, huh? Of course. Just for different reasons. When I was a kid, I loved the Animorph series. I know, your mother gave you a book from it as a wedding present. Heh, yeah, that was one odd wedding present. I guess I was pretty obsessed with it when I was a kid. Why haven't you read them since? Hmm? I saw them, they're collecting dust in the garage. Well, I just grew out of them, I guess. I mean, they're children's books. What's wrong with reading children's books? They're comforting. I suppose so. I think I'm going to get this one. I'm not yours, you're not mine, be my anti valentine. Hey River, this one's not that corny. River? But what about David? He's my favourite character. Uh, I don't know. What are you talking about? Animorphs, have you read it? No. Yes. Really? Sort of. Oh, oh, do you know what animal is David's main morph? Um... No, I don't. Um... Let's go with dog. That doesn't sound right. Don't worry, I'll find it out for ya. Oh, so we have to find it. Let's do this one first. Tobias, Hawk, Rachel, Grizzly, Jake, Tiger, Marco. Marco, Gorilla, David, Cobra, Cassie, Wolf. Why? Oh, just wondering. You could have just googled it. Right, so it's Cobra. Oh yeah, a cobra! I really wish they kept the old covers instead of these plain sheets. Those were cool. Receive note, Animorphs. 
Activate Memento. Oh, everyone's leaving already, but I just got here. Seems to happen to you at a lot of parties. But we'll go save our childish jabs for the insecure. An age animorphs book. A glass bottle of pickled olives. I see Le Fromage, but where's the mouse? That's the corniest remark you've made all night. Don't you mean cheesiest remark? Wow. Do you feel any different? Now that we got the rings on, I mean. No. Why, do you? Actually, yeah, I think so. What is it like? It's just different. Just the responsibilities, I suppose. Responsibilities. Do you like the name Anya? Would you like to name her Anya? I understand. Yeah, Anya's a good name for her. Hey, come with me. This can't be a good idea. I'll probably trip and fall. Don't worry, just follow my steps. Oh, that's so sweet. Ow, my ass. I think you stepped on my toes. Sorry. Come on, let's try again. Promise to love and comfort, to honour and to keep in sickness and in health for as long as you shall live? I do. And do you take this man standing before you to be your lawfully wedded husband? To promise to love and comfort, to honour and to keep in sickness and in health for as long as you shall live? Yes. By the power invested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you, Mr. and Mrs. Wiles. Ack, the wedding. Uh, yeah, what do you think that was? I'm just bad at weddings, that's all. Fluids tend to escape from my eyes. I didn't know you were that sentimental. Oh, did I say my eyes? I meant my mouth. And by fluids, I mean both fluids and solids. That's a lovely image. Thanks, Neil. Come, let's find a way to get out of here. All this happiness and joy is really putting you off too, huh? No, I just don't like watching people make mistakes. Sheesh, 
Whatever happened to, just take it moment by moment. Oh, I'd better go see how your aunt is doing. Alright, Ma. Tell her thanks for coming. I will. I'm so proud of you, Joey. Joey? Oh, that's my grandpa's name. He passed away before I was born. Ma calls me by it as my nickname. How come you never told me about it? Cause I'd rather you call me John. Ack. Not another sentimental grandparent childhood. What do you have against those anyway? I mean, you sure talk about your grandfather a lot. What? No, I don't. Whatever you say. Receive note, Joey. It can't be helped, River. I'm sure they didn't mean to. Come on, we're late. Wait, is that a rabbit? Think this is the source of all those folded paper ones? Why would she obsess over some roadkill? Not to mention so many years later. Don't ask me, you are the woman here. I'll be convinced that I'm the only one when you do a cordless bungee jump. Come on, River, we're late. Receive notes, dead rabbit. You know, it's a fantastic wedding when the mementos roadkill. Hey, maybe she saw it as a metaphor for the terrible marriage. So years later, she began folding the rabbits because she was reminded of how rotten it was. Or, you know, something equally pretentious. Cool story, Neo. Poor thing, what's with all the road kills today? Don't you look at me like that. Smells like a farm. And road kill? Deactivate the scent simulator or get away from here already. Oh! Don't do it. Don't do what? You know what. Don't not ride this horse? What are you, five years old? Okay, I won't not ride it. Gah! Quit wasting time, Neil. Oh crap! That can't be good. Ah, do something! Don't just stand there, help me! Damn it, this was not in the job description. Receive note, Dr. Neil Watts. Is that really a good idea? She should be okay, she's not new to this thing anymore. But she has never done it by herself before. I'll be fine, I'm not a child. Ah, River. What's the matter? Let's go. Hey, wait up. Huh, I wonder if Neo got off that horse yet. 
いいわー This is about 19% more than I can handle What a moron Oh, what a coin corp Well, I think this is a great time to stop the episode for today. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon too. This has been Zuzucorn Games. Have a nice day and have a great week ahead. Bye bye.